Hey, hello everybody and welcome back. This is another super quick uh, tutorial about Unreal uh, Developer Kit, so to speak, and installing Visual Studio. So, and what you have to do is I want to show you how to download it, how to install it, what you have to basically link and what you have to understand in order to get this running. Because even so, as you can see, when you scroll down here, there is a documentation even so, I found it very difficult and hard to follow those steps and really understanding what's going on. Um, and also, I had an error constantly popping up um, after I had previously installed Visual Studio Community 2017 successful, but for some reason it didn't work. And I want to show you in what problems I was running and how you can fix that and how you can set up Unreal, basically the developer uh, rendering engine and compile it through uh, Visual Studio uh, and how you do this. Okay, so first of all, let's get started. You have to understand, you see here um, is the link where you can download the latest and greatest version of 4.26 that includes the DXR GPU light mass rendering. Okay, and that, that was for me the main reason to actually get it because I'm a huge fan of the rendering process and real-time ray tracing and I want to see what's under the hood and how good the new GPU light mass render feature, feature obviously is. So anyways, to get started to download this, first of all, you need to have an account uh, from uh, GIT Hub. Okay, that's very, very important. But not even so when you have this link here, okay, and I'll show you what's happening if you go to the incognito mode and you would basically click on this link and you would like to download that file, it tells you it is not there, it is not existent. The reason why is because you need to have an account, but even if you have an account, that account alone, even if you sign up for an account, the error, the 404 error will still pop up. And the reason for that is because you need to go into your Epic's account, okay? And once you're logged in into your Epic Games account, you go basically under your profile here in the upper right to your account settings. And when you do that, you see then here also connections. And this is very, very important because you, you need to make sure that your account is connected with the GIT hub. Okay. So you see also if I'm using Quixel here, you see apps or whatever is connected. And once this is done, you get and you will receive an email in which you have to confirm the license agreements and everything else. And once this is done, then first of all, you should have access to the download here. Okay. And what's also important is, as you can see here, I basically downloaded the zip folder. And when you do this, I show you then also what's happening. You click on download the zip folder. And in this case, I think we have like uh, 80 megabyte or something like this. Maybe I have here an older file in queue or already downloaded. Um, but you will see then what you have to do is, you see it here, uh, it's a zip file with 370 megabyte. You have to unzip that specific file and you can use, um, for instance, here I use WinRAW, okay, that's the free version. And you specify your folder where you would like to export and extract all the files. Okay, so I did it actually here. If you click on my um, D drive, actually, sorry, my Z drive, I extracted everything to UE4 underscore DXR. Okay, once this is done, uh, you're still not done. There's a lot of stuff to do. You have to basically understand. You, you have to run specific files in here. Inside, you have to run the batch files. But before you even can do this, you need to install um, basically what I told you here, Visual Studio 17. And how to do this? Um, this is, it, it seems to be easy, but you can make a lot of mistakes because you have to add the SDK packages and whatever is needed for Unreal in order to actually compile it and then run it through uh, Visual Studio 17. So let me show you this here. First of all, you download the installer and then you basically install everything, okay? Um, 
I did it already on my computer. And then I show you also here in the Visual Studio installer, once you download it, I can still run it and open it. If you haven't been installing it, you will basically see here then, hey, please install instead of modify Visual Studio Community 2017. What I do here is I click on modify and I want to show you this because this is very, very important. And you can see that you have here Visual Studio Core Editor, you have the desktop development C++, you have the universal Windows platforms and so on. So this is all very, very important. But you can also clearly see here under the .NET desktop development, um, you have, sorry, under the game development with C++, this is very, very important. Under this tab, you have Unreal Engine installer and Visual Studio Android support for Unreal Engine. And this is very, very important because if you do not install that, then you cannot run the batch files and, will, and you will run into some errors. Okay, so this is very, very important. Again, game development with C++, after checking .NET, universal Windows platforms, and the desktop development with C++, make sure that you have the Unreal Engine installer and the Visual Studio Android support for Unreal Engine installed. Okay, so if it wasn't installed before, you would see here basically the install check button right now. I have modify, but mine is done and correctly set up. This package might take, depending on download and installment and everything on your internet speed, maybe five to 10 minutes on your PC. So once this is done, now you're ready for the next part. And the next part is that you basically go into your new Unreal folder you have been extracting before, and then you launch the so-called batch file, okay? And how you do this is basically you click on it, right mouse click and say run as an administrator. I don't do this here anymore because it took me also a while to run it, but I wanted to document it so that you also know how it works. And after this first batch file, you have been executed and running, you run the second one, which is called generate project files batch. This might take even a, a little bit longer in my experience. So what I saw, it was quite a long time, like 15 minutes for sure. So now once this is done, this is very, very important. You see then after that, you will get here the so-called UE4.SLN file. And when you double click that file, then first time ever, what will happen is this is then uh, Microsoft Visual Studio. This is going to open. And you see then here on, on the root directory under the engine, the UE4, okay, target. So this is very, very important. And when you see this, you need to understand that the engine wasn't built yet. It is not compiled. So what you have to do is you do a route, uh, right mouse click and you say build it. And when you do that, you will see in the output window that it will tell you, look, uh, it's progressing and processing and it spits out all the data. And what it does, it builds now for you the binary code for the engine, compiles all the stuff that you can later run the engine as usual. But there is even more thing because once this is done, you will notice once you launch Unreal, that you can still not use the GPU light mass. And um, the reason why is because you can clearly see then here in the builds and in the configurations that you also need to find the plugin, uh, which is still an experimental plugin and it's called the GPU light mass. And you need to build this as well because otherwise it's not going to work. And you will also see then an error, okay, in the Unreal Engine. So that means look at the folder structure here. I'll show you this again. You click after you built the UE4 core engine into the plugins folder. Inside of the plugins folder, you scroll down to the experimental and here, within here, you find GPU light mass. And what you have to do is you select that folder, you click basically 
on it and if it's not installed yet you also have to say like build it and once uh, you clicked on it and you built it then it's also basically ready for your engine and it's going to be installed so once this is done you literally can actually close down visual studio you are done and then you can go back as usual into your ue4 engine and you see here this is not ue engine binary folder you go in and then in my specific case i use windows 64 and in here you find now all the necessary things what you usually um, used to use right to launch your editor and when you click on the ue4 editor then you see here this is going to launch the editor as usual but what I, what I also do is before you launch it, make sure you create a shortcut, which I did here. And once you created the shortcut, click on properties and also add the, extend, the extension dash DX12. And when you launch now the UE4 editor, then basically you're also making sure that you're using it with DX12, direct X12, okay? So once this is done, you can basically go into here. You see here, I created a new scene file. It's a demo scene file in which I was using the GPU light mass. But even so, when you have this project file set up, you still need to activate the plugin. That means you have to go. First of all, what you should do is check if DirectX is really up and running. It's, it's here. Okay. And the second thing, what you should do then is in the plugins folder, you type in GPU, and then you can see here is GPU light mass. And if this is not enabled, you have to enable it, then you have to restart and launch it. And then you're running basically the engine 4.26 from the developer's kit or the de de developer rendering uh, with the latest and greatest GPU light mess. And now you can run here your tests. All right, but now let's have a look how you actually bake it and how you can use the GPU light mess itself with the newest and latest and greatest build. I mean, this is actually a development process and this is where the problem usually starts because people say, hey, how and where can I actually access the light mess GPU? And as you can see, the user interface is the same. This is all basically for the build, the lighting info for all the CPU. It's not there. You will not find it. So the only way how you can access this is through your command box. Um, you know, hit the key button for the control box, uh, CMD box. And then what you can do is you type in toggle light map preview. Okay, this is what you have to type in and then you hit enter. Now, when you do this, and this is very important, I want to show you as well, you see the building of the lighting starts, but it's also very, very slow. And the reason why it's so slow is because you need to turn off in the viewport, in the viewport here, uh, the real-time performance. As you can see here, real-time is on, and watch this. You see the number on the very bottom here, how slow it goes, right? But if you toggle this off, because it's throttling it, right, it's, it's really making it much more slower watch this you turn it on uh, basically off and now look how fast the gpu light mass is actually built also with the regular settings here and i don't i don't even have any other information right now about the actual uh, changes you can make about the quality in the light mass i will post this then later in the description because the most important features is for sure what you should have to control how you are going to build the light mess, right? But look at this. This is honestly very clean, very nice, super beautiful, I have to say so. And it's in runtime. You hit your 90 frames per second. And I have to say, it's, it's really, really very, very clean. To check also, for example, just the lighting only, look at this beautiful and clean, you know, calculation. I have to say the shadows are very, very nice and soft. I don't see any crazy thing going on here like it, like it should be. And this is the promising part. This is what I really like. So especially if you're doing architecture visualization, especially for interior, whatever, this is the way 
to go and to do it. And I have to say, so if this continues like this, I'm so excited. Of course, also you might have seen the preview from Unreal uh, UE5 that is coming out next year. So this is why I'm also diving a lot into the developers uh, builds here and I'm compiling them because you can see under the hood and, you know, test like the, the first things and preview and see what's going on. But as I said, I hope this is helpful for you. And uh, this is also that you can learn how to build a developer's um, code, so to speak, from scratch and compile it and then run uh, Unreal in future now, Unreal 5. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And maybe what I also wanted to show, of course, here, uh, also then performance. Um, I don't even do here now the GI or whatever, but you can turn on reflections on top of it if you want to. Um, and so on and can go through all these settings of course but also for runtime what i learned this is uh, last but not least what i wanted to say is i keep everything I, I try to do a tremendous good job in lighting and then i only turn on ray tracing for whatever is really needed you know so if it's for gaming of course you know then you, you want to hit the performance so that's what i do or vr i need to have this performance for sure but if you do architecture 2D animations, then you can literally uh, ignore the performance and just turn on all the ray tracing and go, go after it and output your fantastic um, basic animation. So that's about it. Thank you so much. I hope this was helpful. And as always, I wish you all the best. Happy pixeling and have fun and talk to you later. Oh yeah, and by the way, check the description. In the description I'm going to put then uh, all the different um, codes you can control basically the GPU light mass there might have there will be other builds of course available in the developers uh, section on github so to download and compile it again but that's it for now this is what I wanted to show you if you like it and if you uh, want to explore with me also the latest uh, builds um, then I would say subscribe hit the subscribe button stay up to date and as soon as I have any new upcoming tutorial you get notified make sure you check the alarm button that everything i upload will be notified so that's it from fatty bull and i wish you all the best and talk to you later take care bye bye